welcome back to episode two. We are starting off where we left off. We finished the animals or dogs in space mission, and we had just selected to begin the human in space mission. Er, it was just animal in space, not dog. So now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next event in it. that booster or upper stage is now finished research. We're gonna go back to our base, see if we can build the medium launch pad somewhere now. We have so much to clear. We're gonna go ahead and clear a bunch of this out of the way. Hurt our hurt our wallet. We'll have to select that one too. Now we're only down to thirty six thousand for research, though. Who? What do we want to go for next? We're gonna select the satellite imaging as well. International Geophysical Year, a global initiative to gain more geophysical data on the Earth. If we can complete that within three years, we will receive 750,000 funds on top of the immediate 750,000 they will give us. We will accept because we have started the satellite imaging. Our atmospheric launch probe is now ready. Ooh, it's a little shady at night. So we don't get any negatives on the launch reliability. We are in August of 1959 at the moment. And we got good conditions. It still leaves us with a 21% chance of having a negative, an overall negative outcome with a 5% of critical failure. With that, we're going to go ahead and Five. That was really close to that critical failure. But our sounding rocket went up by another level, so that is good. And now for research, we're going to have to select the payload now for the satellite imaging. And our human in space payload is now complete with a payload reliability of 91%. So now we're going to go ahead and start building our actual rocket. That gives us 42. So this is a cheaper cost and a higher launch reliability. So we're going to select that part. For the booster, we also do not have a current booster researched. So that gives us 97. And it's on the cheaper end. And it's 12% higher launch reliability than the redstone. So we're going to go ahead and select the delta. We could select these, but it will cost even, it'll require even more research. So we're just going to stick with that. We're going to go ahead and confirm that design. We're going to go ahead and research our parts now. These should take a total of no more than the next two months to complete. The research. UFO fever. I think we're going to go ahead and encourage that speculation. We might get some bonus for that. Aha, yes. Delta research is complete for the booster, and now we're on to the Delta upper stage. 
and for active missions we have another mission slot available now so for that we'll go ahead do we have anything on the moon we cannot do moon orbit yet what request do we have some of these give us a lot of science orbital chimpanzee i think first we'll stick with the satellite imaging and then maybe after the satellite imaging or humans in space, we'll do the orbital chimpanzee or maybe the dog in space. The orbital chimpanzee, though, does have the lower risk. Do we select that now? Do we already select it? Okay, here we go. Plan mission. For this one, we're also going to stick with the standard payload, but we also have the, the observation payload. It's a little bit... 10% less payload reliability. This is the same payload reliability, but it's about 80,000 more. So we're going to go ahead and stick with the standard. Let's we'll start building that. Got to go to the next month to finish the research. And now we can go ahead and build that vehicle. If we go back to our base, we'll be able to. Place our via er, our launch our next launch pad. So we'll go ahead and put it right here. And we can select a new research. Now we're going to have to select the astronaut training facility because we won't be able to put anyone inside our rocket unless we do that. Well, I think we'll have to go ahead and pay the money to actually fix it. The astronaut training facility is complete. Search next. We go for missions now. Should we go for the lunar orbit? I think we'll go for the lunar orbit now. And now we can look, we can hire crew as long as we get our astronaut training facility built. But we don't have the money currently. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next month to get more funds. And we get a budget review of which we went up a tier. Now we are in January of 1961. Go ahead and select that as our upper stage to see what we can currently do. We'll select that part as well. this we can but where do we want to put our money first because that'll cost 516 soon but we can't do the human in space without <laughs> what booster did we select for victory Booster Delta. Oh, so we have the correct boosters, we just need the medium launch pad to finish building. Which we have three more months to finish that. We're going to start with the payload Pioneer research. We'll go ahead and go to that vehicle. And now we can start 
researching some more of these. We can get tier two astronaut talents if we do the buoyancy lab. We can get another mission expansion if we do that. Or the PR office to unlock mission training support. If we go this route, it will cheapen either our mission cost or our vehicle research cost. I think for now we'll need to stick with some of these boosters and other stuff. The medium launch pad is complete, which means we can probably go ahead and set a launch date pretty soon. Yes. Once those complete, we can go ahead and set a launch date. Alright, 247 or 112, which comes with 65% or 70%. I think we'll have to go with upper stage redstone. What other requests do we have? We have all these, but we can't accept them because we got two current missions going. We go ahead and look at the active missions. We can see we are planned to be first for all these. So we'll go ahead and go back to the next month. Either support the treaty and gain support with the other space agencies or oppose it and get more popularity which will increase our tier level and gain us more money per month. I think we're gonna have to oppose it because right now we really need the money. And our vehicle is complete for the humans in space. Now we'll go on to the launch preparations. We don't have the astronaut training facility done yet, or do we even have it building? No, we do not. So we're gonna have to build that very as quick as we can. Can't build there, can't build there. We could build here. Or possibly here. How much is that? That's going to cost a hundred. This will only cost three seventy-five. Or also here, three seventy-five. Do we want the launch reliability or vehicle build cost? I think we we'll have to go with the launch reliability first. So we'll go ahead and place that there. And now we can select. Well, first we have to get our crew. Go ahead and set the research while we're at it. It costs 900 research more. This one's going to cost 900 and this one will cost 1050. I say we go for the Mars fly. Or we're going to have to put multiple people in stage, shouldn't we? Yeah, we'll go for the multi crew. And then after that, we'll go for the Mars flyby. Still waiting on that to complete. We'll go to the next event. Access. Competing agencies gain science, but we gain extra support. 
astronaut training is now complete, which means we can hire our astronauts. And our satellite imaging vehicle is also complete. We'll build a lot of preparations for that. So we have a 99% launch or payload reliability and a 98% launch reliability, which means we can go ahead and select science as our reward. We get a bonus of five per month. So I think we'll go ahead and select here since this is the optimal launch date. We're only five away from the max, so it should be good. And now we can hire What is this? Humans in space, what is our launch reliability? It's at 88%. So hiring this guy will not be bad. I think we're going to go ahead and hire him to make our launch reliability even higher. And assign him to this mission. Which means our launch reliability will now be 93, and our payload is 99, so which means we can select the science reward without any worries of anything. And we're going to go for the max bonus here. We're going to go ahead and confirm that and go back to space. China did beat us to the lunar orbit, but I think we're going to have to downplay their achievement. Because we're not one with playing with other countries right now. We are looking for the win to get to everywhere first, so we can't praise China. And we had gained 300, which puts us into tier 5, which boosts our monthly up to 210,000 units per month. Ooh, and now we have locked more, but we have unlocked Mars, Venus, Merc, and Mercury. We can see their mission requests available for orbital radio and dog in space. see our current diplomacy we're still in the neutral range but none of them really like us and now we have the ability to do lunar orbit but we don't have the mission availabilities to do it right now do the vehicle assembly building because it'll minus 10 more this is a hard decision we'll do the building research lab expansion because that will knock down our cost here I believe we don't necessarily need the tier 2 astronauts right now and we don't need to increase the pool either and we don't really need another mission slot it would be helpful but I don't think we have the money to do another mission slot Now, this wouldn't be bad either. What's the build time? 1200, 1500. But this doesn't really matter unless we can build these, which are 3020. So we're going to have to start with the PR office. And more requests solar wind monitoring. It's time for the launch for our satellite imaging. And we should gain 3,000 signs from it. it. Looks like a good launch window to me for mission control, which means we should have good visibility and increase our launch reliability, even though it's already at 98%. It doesn't hurt to get an extra percent. And now the only chance we have of critical failure is 1% and 0% chance of a negative event. So we either have a good or positive or almost Five, zero chance at four, a negative Five, four, three, two, one. We 
have liftoff. Liftoff looks good. Rocket is going perfect. Looks like a good launch to me. Now the question is, do we get positive of it? No, right at 50%. That's okay. We don't have any negative from it. And both our Delta Booster and Delta Upper Stage get another level added to increase their reliability. So for the bonus, we need four comms, three data, and two navigation. But we only need two comms, two data, and one navigation to complete the mission. So if we get one of these, it'll satisfy our requirement there, there, there. We'll be left with one power, which is fine, because we have 99% payload reliability. There's only 1% chance that we'll have to use an extra power to resist the negative event. Eleven percent. Looks like these are going good so far. So we have our minimum requirement for all of these now. And we still have three turns left. If we do exactly what we did just now, we will have enough to get the bonus, but we don't have enough power. So what we're gonna do is recharge all of these commands so we can redo what we did the first time and have enough power. So we'll go ahead and select that here and here, and that'll give us our bonus as well with one power left over just in case something goes wrong. I think, ooh, that was close. We hit 1%. Or maybe it was 2. It's hard to see, but I swear it said 1%. Oof. There we go. We should get the bonus now. And now we have completed three milestones. Minus 25 vehicles research costs for six month, months. So since we have a minus vehicle cost, I think what I'm going to do is switch my research down to the vehicles now. We'll have, just have to change the research. We'll keep the percent that we still had on the PR office. And now it's May of 1961 and we are launching the first human in space. Looks like an okay launch, launch window to me. Here we go. Oh, and excellent conditions, which means our critical failure is now at 1%. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. We didn't get a positive event, but that's okay. So we stayed in the neutral, which means there's no negative effect. And our Delta Booster and Delta Upper Stage now go up another level and gain a little bit more launch reliability.
for this objective. We only need two comms and three navigation. If we can get the two comms right here. If we do this one, we should be able to get this as well. Which will only put us two away from the comms bonus and two away from the navigation bonus. And we still have two extra power and we have another data that we can spend. And we get the bonus from that signal. there as well. No, we didn't. Wait, did we? No. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, now all we need left is two comms and two navigation. We have two data to spend as well. We only have two power, but we should be enough. Because we can get that there. And we can get our next two comms here, and we can also add an extra power just in case anything goes wrong. Orbital realignment went well. And now the signal return test. Do we get the bonus? Ooh, we are 4% off from that. It's okay though. We got what we needed. first human in space and we got the mission reward bonus which is good Aikida the first human in space and for the last before we sign off this episode we're gonna head select star 37 upper stage as the next research since we have the bonus for the re vehicle research currently Thank you guys for tuning in. That is the conclusion of episode 2. Go ahead and tune back in to episode 3 when that comes out.